don't know what it is, but there's something about this that's, well, darn it, just a lot of fun. You can have it. If you think this is fun, then I feel sorry for you. Well, now, Suzanne, people have different ideas of what's fun. That's right. In order to have a good time, Mary Jo doesn't have to spend every weekend being thrown off Bruz Duncan's party barge into the Chattahoochee River. I didn't say that. I just said if she thinks this is fun, then maybe she needs to reassess her life. Why? I think her life's just fine. She has a rewarding job and two great kids. Yeah, but, but what does she do for fun? What do you mean? See, she doesn't even recognize the concept. <laughs> Oh, of course she does. Mary Jo has lots of fun, don't you, Mary Jo? For instance, what'd you do last night? Last night? Well, let's see. I made dinner for the kids. I did some new math. I traced all the president's heads. Lincoln's is the biggest, if it ever comes up. I rest my case. Okay. So my life isn't exciting. I don't have time for excitement. Well, Mary Jo, I hate to agree with Suzanne, but... You haven't been out with anybody since you and Ted split up. Well, according to Newsweek, you'd be wasting your time because anybody over 30 has very little chance of marrying anyway. Hey, what are you talking about? Let me see that. <laughs> so, I mean, do you believe this nonsense? Well, Suzanne, where you been? People Magazine did the same story with Donna Mills and some other old maids on the cover. Don't you remember everybody being up in arms about it? No, I... I must have been in Tijuana having those lamb injections. <laughs> you know, every time I see this graph, it just makes me mad all over again. Every age group has its own color. Mine's pale blue. I mean, the never been married nerve of them. Well, I think this is all a lot of foolishness. I am over 35, and I can assure you, if I wanted to get married again, I wouldn't let a little thing like a graph stand in my way. According to this, your age group has a better chance of being killed by a terrorist. <laughs> yes, well, I think the fellow who wrote that has a pretty good chance of being killed by a feminist. <laughs> It's not the magazine's fault, Julia. They're just stating the fact. There's one thing I hate. It's when you all get off on one of your socially conscious tirades. And Charlene, I'm surprised at you. You usually stay off of your soapbox. Well, I don't know about that. I have my causes. In case you've forgotten, I'm the one who picketed when Sheridan didn't get nominated for mass. <laughs> Never mind. I wasn't talking about that. Well, I'm just glad I have Mason. I don't have to worry about all this stuff. I'm just find somebody for Mary Jo. Thank you very much, but I am happy with my life just like it is. Well, I think it's time for a change. Suzanne, who cares about what you think? It's Mary Jo's life. I know, but since I do know the most men, I feel it's my responsibility to fix her up. Let me relieve you of that responsibility. I swear to you, Suzanne, I'm not interested. My prime goal in life is to find you a date, Mary Jo, and I will leave no stone unturned. Well, that should make it easy. After all, that's where you find most of yours. 